Hey folks, Michael Collins again in ViralReporter.com on August 1st, 2012. You know what time it is. It's time to check the radiation in the greater Los Angeles Basin air. And you see how we're doing it. We've got three filters, air filters here at Radiation Station Santa Monica. And what we do is we run them for a period of time. In this uh, latest period will be 54 days, 52 days, pardon me. And then we uh, check to see how much above background we have. And uh, that gives us an idea of what we're catching here. And thank goodness we are catching it. The background in here uh, we just tested was 39.4 counts per minute. Um, this style of testing HEPA filters has apparently become a little more popular. Uh, we see Dr. Chris Busby uh, doing it. Uh, Arnie Gunderson is doing it, and uh, it is one of the ways that we can tell if we've been impacted by radiation. Here's our Inspector Alert nuclear radiation monitor. Like I said, 39.4 is about what it is coming in at on a 10-minute average, and we're just going to sort of look at what we get just testing these before we vacuum them and create an aggregate. This over here is obviously the fair Denise's hair. Radiation is not homogenous. Oh, that didn't seem to jump too much. Try this one. Because it's not homogenous, you might find hot spots that stick out. Let's try this one. Whoa. We should be getting nothing. We should be getting nothing above background. Here's something. Have to make sure to keep the inspector away from the dust. But we want to get close enough to be able to pick up alpha radiation, which emits about, what, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, inch? We're over double background. Definitely over double background. We know that the California Highway Patrol considers anything over three times background to be a hazmat hazardous material situation. Not there yet. Ninety four moving around. Interesting how this Westinghouse barrel shaped HEPA filter is picked up more than these other two. Topped out at ninety four. Okay, we topped out at 94. We'll come right back after we vacuum these things. We vacuum them so we can get an aggregate count and also to make the machines more efficient so they can capture more of any potential Fukushima contamination at Radiation Station Santa Monica. will be right back. Hey folks, Michael Collins again, EnviroReporter.com. We're back. We vacuumed out those three HEPA filters, and you can see the aggregate right there. We're talking about 52 days worth of debris in the air that we've uh, filtered out here at Radiation Station in Santa Monica. We have a background in here of 39.4 counts per minute, and uh, we did a spot check before we vacuumed this out and it topped out at 94 counts per minute. Let's give it a, let's take a look at what it does in aggregate.
not jumping as much or is it radiation is not homogeneous in its ionization comes in bursts going up to 86 remember we topped out in a spot check at 94 normally do a 10 minute average but that's 10 minutes of your time I doubt you're about you're willing to spend 112 but we will do a 10 minute average and it will be on radiation station Santa Monica statistics and under special tests on enviroreporter.com stopped out at 112 it's clearly over double background now we've seen it much higher than this we've seen it up at 500% over background and more so 500% up background and more and so what could be the reason that we have lower readings well I think it's a function of the fact that there is one particular environmental condition that has changed since the last time or two times two cycles ago where we tested and we had such high uh, readings uh, the so-called June gloom here in Southern California was quite prominent in, in uh, January of all times not June and uh, we had higher readings then we also had a lot more chemtrails at that time a lot of chemtrails and in the last 52 days we've only counted a couple three days of chemtrails now I know a lot of folks out there go oh chemtrails they're those nutty conspiros listen folks if you can't look up in the air and tell the difference between a contrail and a chemtrail there's no talking to you but the fact of the matter is there are chemtrails we've they have been discussed they do exist are they bringing down fallout from Fukushima and impacting our readings well here we have lower readings still over double background and yet less chemtrails uh, we are still researching this uh, but uh, uh, and we will get back to you on that the fact is it's very hard to prove a negative here what we have though is, is we have a spot check of dust here at Radiation Station it topped out at 112 counts per minute uh, background at 39.4 it's uh, easily over double background all of these statistics will go up on Radiation Station's statistics and special testing at EnviroReporter.com stay tuned